So we should have recorded you ordering room service because it was pretty funny. Well, maybe we'll do another one, but it's really easy. You go to the Navigator app and you go to Explore, you pull up Dining, you go to Room Service, it shows you the menu. That's how you pick what you want. And then you place a phone call to Room Service and you read off of your menu what you want to them. They tell you a time and they deliver it for you. It's included in your cruise and you just tip them. We usually do about a dollar per um, I don't know what you call these. Mm, no, I've been doing five dollars. Oh, okay, then that's even better because <laughs> yeah. your CMs work really hard. And yes, you should, no, I've been. You doing should tip them greatly. Um, time. but yeah, so um, here's the food. I'm not going to show you everything because that would, I would have to balance things. So I'll just show you what's in here. But I ordered a margarita pizza. This is the cheese platter. It's called the All Hands on Deck. Okay, key lime pie. That's for dessert. And then Joe got a mozzarella, tomato, and basil panini with chips and coleslaw. That looks good, actually. I'm going to give you the silverware. Now, your drinks are an upcharge. You have to pay for drinks in room service, but we just go to the concierge level and grab ours. So that's why you don't, we don't have any drinks, because we have a full fridge full of drinks. All right, cool. But yeah, you should definitely take advantage of room service. Everything on this Disney cruise. The sun, the swimming, the aqua deck. But one of the things I can't wait to do is get outside and connect with nature. I'm here with Brett, and he's taking us behind the waves to tell us about some of the ways Disney Cruise Line is helping to promote wildlife conservation all around the world, including right here on Castaway Key, Disney's private island in the Bahamas. That's right, Jenna. We definitely want guests to get out there and That's right, Jenna. Do you find that hysterical, Jennifer? I do. We turn this on. We turn this on, and I'm like, holy cow, that's Jenna Ortega. Yes, it is, and some of our guests even have a chance to observe some of our local mm -hmm. wildlife here on the island through a hands-on training experience with our stingrays. Plus, a portion of the proceeds for this experience are contributed to the Disney Conservation Fund. What's that? The Disney Conservation Fund helps reverse the decline of threatened wildlife well, ecosystems. Matthew's coming back on. Spend in nature. Our guests can help We're very good evening, all on board to Disney like Magic. This is oh. the captain speaking from the oh. bridge. Well, first of all, I'd like to apologize coming into your stateroom. However, I have some important information to share with you. I have to inform you that unfortunately, one of our guests needs medical, urgent medical attention. And as you might have noticed, this, we have turned the ship 180 degrees. We're going back to Cabo San Lucas to assist with this medical need. I expect to arrive in Cabo San Lucas around uh, midnight or so, and then uh, we will disembark our guest, and then we will go back towards San Diego as soon as we can, and I will update you tomorrow on our ETA in San Diego. I do apologize for this inconvenience, but I trust you understand the importance and that we always take safety for our guest crew first. Well, enjoy the evening, and I will give you updates tomorrow during the day. Wow, that was interesting. Ooh. Yeah, that video took a turn. I just grabbed the camera to say, hey, look, there's Jenna Ortega. So the captain just came on saying that there's a medical emergency with someone, one of the passengers on the ship. So we're turning around and going back to Cabo. They um, did a 180 degree turn. Is yeah. that what he said? Yeah, because we're turning around. What Here. time is it? I don't know. What time um, is it? The time right now is 7.53 Pacific specific time yeah well so 753 so, so we, we left, left cabo at about three about three ish so, so we're <laughs> five hours outside of cabo in the middle of the pacific and he's turning around to go back he said we're going to get back to cabo around midnight which is yeah pretty, that makes sense pretty accurate i guess yeah. maybe we left later than three uh we were not paying attention we were just all of a sudden we realized oh man we're moving um so what that means is um so we still have after tonight we have one more full day on the ship yeah and we are supposed to dock back in san diego on thursday thursday in, morning at about 8 30 in the morning i think we get there before 8 30 yeah. that's just the time they want you to eat breakfast and get off the ship around there um so i we may be a little later yeah the captain said he'll longer. keep us informed. Yeah, interesting. Well, but you know what? A lot of people have been reporting medical em emergencies on their cruise on their cruises. Yeah, um, I don't that know. That YouTuber that we watch, him and his wife with the Yoda. Yeah. 
they had a medical emergency on their cruise. Um, yeah, I don't know. Who you've else been did wa- I see? You've been There's watching been a these, lot. Yeah, you've lately. been watching these videos, and I have not, so I don't yeah. know. I'll have to take your Hope word for it. Hope it's nothing serious. Yeah, I That's know. Scary. So whatever it is, obviously there's somebody who needs something. Um, medical attention in Mexico. Well, I'm you know I'm sure they have medical staff on board the ship, but they can only yeah. do so, so much. much, and then yeah. something obviously happens, and yeah. who knows if you need additional service that they can't provide on the ship, they have to stop somewhere. Yeah, um, they have to go to the nearest landfall, and so that's got to be Cabo. Right, so they have to get back to Cabo, mm-hmm. um, get the person off the boat, which means there's going to be a medical boat that will meet them because yes. this do- ship does not go up right. to a dock they we were uh, tender tenders, we yeah. anchored and then they had tender boats yeah. to take people ashore if they were going ashore yes um anyway yeah so that's interesting that's an interesting turn of events here so yeah well you know hopefully that person's okay whoever it is and whatever the issue is hopefully they're okay but just interesting interesting that this came up yeah and um, the captain apologized for yeah. you know um coming into our rooms to make an announcement not him physically but he came over the loudspeaker well, they try not to do that well matthew is the uh cruise director and he's yeah. been the one who's uh, come on to announce different things each day yeah. um talking about the different types Sorry, of I'm events uh, just the different events or uh different plans like today leaving the ship if you're going ashore explaining the uh exactly mm-hmm. what we need to do for that um anyway so yeah very very interesting well mm. all right um look there's your thing on the poop <laughs> they were really? just talking about the poop really am i missing that yeah you are okay we'll have to keep this on until jenna comes back on she was what rewind it 13 when they filmed this if, i don't know <laughs> yeah. so if you don't know this here's another um um tip for you I don't know if it's really a tip, but um, in your stateroom, you get all the ABC owned channels. So you get ABC, uh, ESPN, ESPN, Food basically, Network, basically HGTV, all the channels in the world. But you do get BBC and NBC. Disney owns everything. Does Disney own BBC? They I don't know. I, I, I don't. I don't do. No, I don't think they do. But there's obviously some sort of Contract? collaboration. Yeah, and yeah. there's N N. And an an SNBC. There's an NBC station. No, there's no NBC. They don't. Yes, own there NBC. is an NBC station. They don't own NBC. Yeah, though. but there's an NBC okay, station well, on the they TV. They don't own NBC. I know they don't, but yeah. I'm just saying there's an NBC station. They do have certain deals with other companies. Um, Comcast owns NBC, so they do have a deal with Comcast because they're part owners of Hulu. So anyway, all right. Back to Jenna Ortega. Let's see what else she's sharing. I was curious to know about what happens with the water and the poop. Like, how do they have so much water on the ship? So the little bit that I saw is that they have these evaporators. So they pull in salt water, do this whole evaporation process, and desalinate the water, take the salt out, and turn it into regular drinking water. So there's this whole process for that. So that part's kind of cool. And then Joe wanted to know where all the poop went. We just missed it. I guess Jenna Ortega wanted to know where all the poop went too. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I, I I like Jenna Ortega. I think she's all right. We actually for Halloween today people were dressing up, and <laughs> there was this yeah. little girl that was dressed up as Wednesday Adams and Very looked cool. just like her. And I'm like, man, she's probably Jenna's size too, because Jenna's a tiny little girl. So yeah. So did you feel the boat turn around then? No. No, I felt nothing. Neither did I. Yeah, nothing. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Just so. curious about that. Well, all right. Back to it. Okay. Car- carry on, folks.